Hello everybody. We are trying a different camera. Actually a DV camera instead of a stupid iPhone that uh, um, apparently I could not get the iPhone to work correctly to upload YouTube videos. So we're going to give the DV camera a try. see what it looks like on some Kirby's. Here we have a Kirby Classic 3, a Kirby Tradition, and a Kirby Dual Sanitronic 80, and an Electrolux Model Triple X. This is an Apple 3. The Apple 3 has a MicroSci A143 disk drive connected to it. The other MicroSci drive is just there for looks. It's actually an Apple 2 drive. The monitor is a monochrome monitor. This Apple III has 128K RAM installed, although I do have a 512K board that I want to put in it at some point, just have not gotten that finished yet. It also has the uh, real-time clock modification uh, installed, so the uh, clock actually works in that machine, which is a rarity for Apple III's. Here's some software. Next to it is an Apple IIe enhanced model. 256k of RAM uh, via a uh, Applied Engineering RamWorks 3 expansion board. Numeric keypad. Apple Color Composite Monitor. Two Unidisc drives. Uh, and one uh, Unidisc 3.5 drive. Quality Computers Q drive, SCSI hard drive. The machine has an Apple high-speed SCSI card installed for the SCSI hard drive. There's an authentic Apple joystick. For printers, Here we have an Apple Silent Type thermal printer, actually connected to the Apple III. Here we have an Apple Graphics Tablet, currently not connected to anything, just sitting there on display. However, I do have the pen and the interface card for the Graphics Tablet. Next we have an Apple DMP, an early dot matrix printer produced by Apple before the Image Writer series of printers was introduced. Currently missing its uh, plastic cover on the top, but it is a working parallel dot matrix printer. Here we have a Macintosh PowerBook 3400C 
mainly only used in this application for uh, transferring disk images to and from the Apple IIs. Next we have an Apple II GS. Two megabytes of RAM currently. SCSI card. Here's the hard drive connected. The original hard drive is a uh, Connor, which I had some trouble with, so I just connected up a, a, a quantum hard drive just temporarily. Applied Engineering 5.25 inch floppy drive, as well as an Apple Disk 3.5 joystick as well, mouse with authentic Apple mouse pad, that is an original ADB mouse. The keyboard is not an Apple II keyboard, it is actually off a Macintosh, but it's ADB, so they all work just the same. This Apple II GS has a Kensington system saver, which is basically a fan and power strip combined into one. Above that is a floppy disk Lazy Susan, the Apple logo. Connected to the Apple II GS for printers, we have, for printer, and I should say, we have an Apple Image Writer 2 with a cut sheet feeder option installed. Works beautifully. So I don't have to use fan feed paper although I do have quite a bit of fan feed paper uh, on hand if I do need it. Next we have a Commodore 64 with a Commodore MPS 801 dot matrix printer. Commodore 1702 color composite monitor. 1541 disk drive. Joystick. There's the main unit right there. Sits perfectly on this desk. The desk allows you to route cables underneath the desk. As uh, anyone who is a, a, a Commodore person knows, the uh, cables plug into like all sides of the C64, so you end up with a desk full of cables. So this type of desk helps uh, ease the clutter a little bit. Otherwise, in the room, we have a display of roadmaps. This display case shows roadmaps published by petroleum companies. Next to it are roadmaps from individual states, starting with uh, Texas 1948. Unfortunately, you can't see it because of the... There we go. Too much reflection off the glass. Nebraska maps starting with 1962, progressing onward. Newest one I have, I believe that's 2010. Alright, so that is a quick tour of the Vintage Computer Lab that also contains roadmaps and Kirby's. And here is an original Apple II. Goodbye everybody.